Is it okay? Uh, yeah, just don't touch your mic. Okay. Well, time starts now. Oh. <laughs> Can we redo that? I'm gonna explain what this game is about after the blindfolded part. So, uh, Titan Souls, I'm just going to explain a little bit. Uh, Titan Souls is a game, just boss fights. And there are four tutorial bosses, and we're going to do all those tutorial bosses blindfolded. So We made it to the first hard boss, because this one is purely random. Oh, I actually got him first try. Or at least this... Okay, so now we're going back. Like that. And now we're just gonna wait a little bit. Because he needs to get stuck inside this corner and we might have a lot of resets on this boss. Oh no, I died. Well, that happens. <laughs> Let's just try again. This one is the hardest boss. The other bosses are pretty consistent. So it's just this boss that can be hard. I have no idea where he is. I got him there. Oh. Where am I? Okay. There we go. I got him! <laughs> Finally! Okay, so... I'm glad that's over. Now we're just trying to get outside. If that happens. There we go. There we go, and that's the second boss. Where are we? Uh, game? We are still not out. Okay. Let's just do a quick reload then. There we go. One more boss to go, and then we can finally take this blindfold off. <laughs> we might actually get world record in uh, blindfolded.
Oh no. I have no idea what's going on. There we go. So we just need to run to the elevator now and then we can take this blindfold off. No idea where we are. Okay. Nope, not gonna even try. There we go. Okay, let's... Okay, so uh, now we're going to the forest, and the forest has two cool bosses. Hey guys, by the way, you can find this in my face. Uh, and this boss is supposed to be hard. But you can just stand here, pull on the right timing, and there he is. Yes, it's actually pretty bizarre, all the strategies. Uh, but there is a total of 19 bosses in the game. Uh, one unlocks if you do every one of them, and that's like the final, final boss. And we're gonna we're gonna enable him by beating all bosses. So this boss can be pretty terrifying if you first shoot him. And so, I actually first have to explain what this game is about. The game is just about boss fights. And it's a really fun game. Where you will probably die a lot of times in your first playthrough, just like me. Uh, but it's fine now. And uh, we still have a few bosses to go. I'm a little bit disoriented and don't really know what to say. But I think there's plenty of things to say if I can still remember some of them. Uh, so we're now going to the ruins, and the ruins also has two bosses. 
and we hit the save point at the ruins, go to the graveyard, which also has two bosses. So after we beat in the graveyard bosses, we can easily uh, reload and get back to the uh, ruins bosses to easily beat them and not walk all the way back to the ruins. So, we're almost there. It's an open world game. After the tutorial, you are free to go where you where you are, or where you're, uh, like, what you want to, uh, what you want to play. And I think we have time for a donation now, yes. No donation? Okay. <laughs> uh, we just got two donations, actually. First of all, one from uh, Sen Zengin, say, for 15 euros, saying, Go streaming fire, we love you! And then another 5 euro donations from Elisa saying, Hi streaming, it's Elisa. Uh, second try sludge is awesome. A ton of the community is here for you, so good luck on the rest of the run. And hopefully you get one cycle elder. Awesome. <laughs> one cycle. Okay, so now we're going to the most annoying or no, most boring boss in the game. And that's uh, just walking actually. You get a little bit of story, but there is not really a story in this game. They try to implement a story, but there is not really a story. So it's kind of a failed thing. But it's basically you grow up as this uh, thingy and you uh, spawn in this area and you see bosses and you just want to kill them. That's the whole story. So, this is a long walk, it's really boring, but it's an easy kill, so. And that's actually the boss. So, I actually wanted to tell you about a few tricks in this game. The main trick about this game is just movement, not bumping into anything. But there's also some optimizations. For instance, the first boss or the last boss in the tutorial we killed. We're quickly gonna reload here to get back to the ruins. Uh, the first, uh, the last boss in the tutorial we killed. Uh, you can actually go around, pull the arrow, and the door that's opening can actually open the moment you uh, the moment you uh, kill the uh, or pull the uh, the last bo oh, boss okay so that was Elhanan Elhanan is casually a really hard boss but there's this strategy that's pretty easy and it's just easy to kill. So we're moving to the uh, to the chest with gold, and he's actually really aggressive. But he's if you find a way to calm him down, it's actually a really easy boss. He always does the same, so makes it easy. One of the easiest bosses in the game, in my opinion. Just like that. So, there's actually a trick in the game that is frame perfect. And you can lock the menu screen uh, to the game itself so you can move and also have a look at the quit and uh, don't quit uh, menu screen. Uh, but if you then at that moment uh, you kill the boss because the moment you uh, like the soul is coming out, the cutscene starts, the boss is counted as dead. But um, if you quit out on the right moment, you skip this whole animation, soul cutscene, which saves about 18 seconds if you do it optimally. 
and uh, but if you fail it, your whole whole run is dead because you uh, either quit out or wasted some time on getting close to the boss to do this risky skip. Most resets are just uh, trying to risky skip. We are skipping the save point here. Can be a risk, but pretty consistent at this, I think. into that, not a big deal. Uh, so when you casually pr play this, it's a really satisfying moment after like dying to a boss like 30 times when you finally kill him. And this animation can be really satisfying. So now we're gonna look into an other, another trick and that is a death warp. And with the death warp you basically skip the whole animation by dying in the animation itself. So we save there because then we can use this death warp. Wait a second. Let him hit you. This geyser will now go off. We stand in it and we die. And the boss is counted as dead, so we don't have to watch this. There are two more worlds to go. There's the uh, ice world and the tower, and the tower is like like the final section. So this boss is just really terrifying because it's all about timing. Or at least this strategy. So now we're moving to the Ice World and the Ice World is really is a really cool place in my opinion. It has the most fun bosses. And the music in this game is also really nice, so every world has a different uh, audio track. This has like a Classicals uh, music thingy. And it really fits the style of the game, I think. Oh. Oh. There we go. So we first have to do a little puzzle over here to open the door to the first ice boss. Gonna shoot his thing so he becomes aggressive. Gonna stand here, gonna do an upward shot and pull. Oh, we missed. Well, that happens. Now we're just gonna wait here. Well, we missed the death bar because this, uh, like, its name is Onyxia, and his uh, hitbox of killing you doesn't become. Uh, or does become act is still active after you killed it, but on most bosses, you actually uh, it actually becomes inactive, so you can't die. But on the next year they didn't, so you can still die on the hit on the yes on the hitbox. Here you have to shoot this uh, pink. Yeah, you all, we all know what it is. I can say it. And it's actually a really hard boss since he's really aggressive. I think we can make estimate, which is nice. So we're going for a first psycho here. No, we missed it. I'm just 
gonna wait here then. So there's a chance where you can actually hit him the moment that pillar comes out of the ground, uh, shoots his teeth. So we're now moving to the tower, and the tower is the uh, is like the final part of the run of the game. There are three bosses in the tower, and the last one just act uh, becomes active if you finish all bosses in the uh, open world. And after you finish the game, you actually get a new game plus, and you can uh, practice the bosses, and uh, you and hard mode unlocks. A uh, iron mode unlocks where you uh, just have one li uh, life, so if you die, you have to start from the beginning, which is really uh, frustrating. So we're now moving to the tower. Which is the final part of the game. Moving into goal set, which also has fists and tries to kill you. So we're gonna do a one pixel clip here, just by moving our uh, joystick a little, and we can actually get through there by moving this uh, the sprite of the. Uh, so we're gonna get in here. So we skip the animation again. Gonna do a roll. Oh, we missed it, but we can still get it here. An infinite roll, because why not? This is Soul. It's one of the hardest bosses for a casual playthrough. There we go. Gonna quit out because we don't wanna watch this whole cutscene. And now because we killed our bosses, this door will open. And we can actually make it right on time. So after this boss, if I hit the I, the timer will come for the time. This boss takes about one minute. If you do it correctly, of course. You can die. So we're gonna stand here because this thing will actually not roll, but just get stuck there. Oh, we missed that. Well, let's try again. Oh, we missed it again. Let's try again. There we go. So this is the last phase of this boss fight. And time. So that was Titan Souls. It's a really fun game. It's a little longer if you play it casually, as you might my guess so thanks for watching and uh, have fun with the other ones I, I guess